Hello and welcome back to one of my old time, just fun to play games. I have gone through so many good times with this game, on so with so many good people, you have no idea. And it's still alive and kicking even more ferociously than ever. We thought we'd seen the end of updates for the crew too. Yeah, Ubisoft went, move aside, it's time for the good shit. So here we are, entering year three of the crew two and starting off with the chase. As you can see, we have got so many goodies. We've got so many good cars. Some of us are starting to put up lights and Christmas trees, build snowmen. And the crew two have just given us our Christmas presents early. So let's stop dilly daddling about. That right there is what I'm hopping into today. The C8 VET, ladies and gentlemen, yes. Apart from Project Cars 3, the console, console mobile game that that is, we have got the big, bad American muscle car here in the Crew 2, which is only more bad news for Playground Games because it's not like a small game. It takes modelling, it takes actual programming. Yes, Playground Games may do a detailed job, but I'm sorry, they need to start actually enjoying, start enjoying cars and realise what cars are. So, as you can see, we've got the chase right here. We've got Motorflix Series 1, Episode 1. There are six episodes with a grand total of, I think it's like 60 days on each episode, which, give or take a few days, is the next year of content for the crew too. So let's see, there's a vault pack interceptor unit. So I'm going to have to see what that is. And here we go, we have a vanity pack, uh, another welcome pack, but, ooh, intercept, for 1.5 million! Oh! <laughs> oh, do we get anything good? We get a uh, Venino and a demon. Oh, the demon does look quite beast. Yeah, sod it. I bought it. Oh, bye bye, buddy. You took so long to earn. But those are going to be another day because, well, as we will be able to see, I'm going to run my little butt over here. Oh, there's my two new vehicles, so they're going to be dope. But if we go over here, for those of you who don't know, the crew tool has got so many new vehicles it's not even funny so like here for example motor pass reward the gt500 that looks sick we have got the dugatti dragster which is an insane looking motorcycle we've got the exclusive edition of the dmc rad and we've just still got so many goodies it's just lovely although Hang on. The High Octane. That was only available for crew credits. And the little bus and the beetle. You can now buy these? With, without crew... Oh, some people are going to be pissed. But there it is. There it is. The C8 Stingray Vet. What colours? Can you do red, yellow, white? Oh, the black. The black looks like Batman. The b oh, oh, the Miami blue. I am going with the Miami blue. I'm sorry. I know a Corvette is usually red. Oh, got five rooms. Got that, 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 and that. So. I'm going to have to go with the standard, so let's do it. 360,000 down the drain. 
Now, in next episode, I will also be doing a customization show off of the other new vehicle, which is the BMW M8. So if you want to see that, get yourself subscribed, turn off that notification bell and tickle that follow button because I will be releasing that very shortly. So stay tuned for that. Now, though, it is time for our big boy vet here. Oh, why does it look so good in blue? Okay, so you're gonna sound meaty. L let's have a good here. Ooh. I hate the delayed dash, though. Mind you, that could be a Crew 2 thing. It could be a Corvette thing. Well, that and the serious lack of steering wheel movement. I mean, hold on. Right. Look. It moves so slowly. Okay. But I've got to say, in blue, it looks so good. But let's see what visual customizations we've got for this bad boy because. We should have quite a lot, and I'm hearing twinkles and stuff. And for those of you who don't know, you don't have to go to the house now to customise. So, let's see. Let's do the performance. So, there's 280 out of 280 now. And it's got 950 horsepower and 226 miles per hour at top speed. But as we all know... By now with the crew too, that can be faster than oh, oh, the Dodge Interceptor. Oh, oh, you sexy beast. But calm yourself, Gage. Calm yourself. Calm yourself. So, let's see what we've got for the hoods. Got carbon. We've got oh, some blue vent. Nah, I, I hate that it can't be all of it. Nah, I've got to go with number three. Front bumper, let's see what we've got. Ew! Ew! I know what they're trying to do, like replicate the CAR race car, but ew! That adds a little blue fin, so... And that adds a black little splitter. I'm going to go with number five. Front fender. Oh, we got a wide body. Yeah, we got a wide body, ladies and gentlemen. I am actually having a crisis. No, don't change it, Black, you silly game. I like my calipers red. So, let's go to wing mirrors. We can have carbon or... Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Freedom of America. Okay. Uh, let's go with carbon for now. Uh, skirts, let's see, we've got three, we've got plain, we've got carbon, and we've... Oh. Oh, I've got to go with these. Rear fender. Oh, it's the second half of the wide body. And she be thick. Thick with four C's. Thick. Rear wing, let's see if we've got any better than the OEM. So we've got a carbon OEM. We've got a slightly raised. That is quite a nice swing, so I will give it that. Got a carbon edition. We've got what looks to be a rocket bunny slash ducktail variant. And then we've got the Black Panther special. Oh, yeah. And, oh, look. Uh, we actually have got the Stingray badge right there. So that's really nice. Uh, Black Panther can just yeet on out of here. Uh, I'm going to go with that because it looks freaking sick. Rear bumpers, let's see what we've got. Oh, we've got blacked out lights. Red. So then we've got blackout and red. The blackout and red looks dope. Uh, blackout and red, blue, blue trim. And then I'll paint. Nah. Uh, do I want that painted? Or oh, actually, no, that turns into carbon, so. No, I'm not going to go full Need for Speed. I want to have a little bit of red showing through. Let's see the interiors. So we can... What goes well with blue? Uh, 
Oh, we can have like blue stitching, so that's nice. Let's see the layouts we can do. Uh, let's just have blue stitching because it's nice. Interior inserts, we can have what looks like metal, carbon, and black. I'm going to go with black polish. And let's go with the vanities. Now, let's get some racy tyres on this boy. Uh, oh, Lord, I forgot I had these. All right, let's get some of those on because they look amazing. Uh, let's get some blue smoke on the thing. And nitro, what do I want? Uh, let's have some good old-fashioned yellow burn. And that right there is our build of the C8 Stingray. It already looks... Look at that now! That looks dope AF. Oh! I don't know why my game's lagging a bit, so... Oh, and I instantly bin it. Oh, thank you, AI car! But, um, oh, she is a fast girl, but mind you, there are some chick. And that is what every American is going to do with the C8 Vet. Just do that right there. Because you know why? Because the C8 Vet is quite possibly this generation's Nissan GTR. It's ridiculously powerful and cheap. Although there is one thing the GTR does better than this car. The interior. Because the interior in this, the Americans thought, Oh, let's stick all the buttons you ever need on one panel and stick them all in a line. Well, well, well done, America. You know, you couldn't have hired the Germans to do one thing to make your car better. No. But anyway. Less uh, international policy talks, as that will get me in trouble. <laughs> and on to a race to see where this handles. Oh my god, there is a lot of movement now. So, <laughs> we have now got all that. We've got unranked on the live summit, so we'll have to do some of that in my own free time. Uh, let's go to street racing, because that's where this is. Let's go to street race. Uh, let's see what we've got. Oh, we've got all these Motorflix new little levels. So let's see. But I'm going to keep to a good old fashioned street race so we can see what's what. Let's do. Hmm. Let's do the strip north. And I'll keep the difficulty on normal so that I can see how this handles, if you will. I'm not so much bothered about the AI. I want to see how it handles, how it feels, and everything else in between. So here we are, the Strip North Street Race. It is not the South Strip, which is everyone's possible favourite street race because it's so short and so many corner cuts. I've just chose this one at random, and doesn't the blue look good? Oh, I just clipped through the gate then. Thanks, game. And it's raining with our test, so that's going to put the mid-engine layout with its paces. Oh, that yellow nitro looks so clean. Oh, where are we going? Instant thing I need to do with this is fiddle with the diff because like a very cheap lady or man on a street corner uh, the legs are the ass is a bit too shaky and it's a little bit too open for my liking I need to tighten it up a little bit so 
Because at the moment it's a drifty ball, but that blue smoke though looks dope. Look at the blue smoke! The nitrous bottle is a decent size where cars in the past have been, you know, hindered by quite small nitrous bottles. Uh, one of which in particular is the Acura NSX in this game has a very tiny uh, nitrous bottle if you don't use the nitrous perk! Nailed it. But this car is handling very well. I can't see it being a quote unquote meta car if you don't tune it because 99% of the people don't tune in this game. They just go with whatever's fastest right off the gate. Which means I think the vet will be a bit forgotten in that regard. Oh! Okay. Uh, yeah. I sort of did a spin. Stupid car. American. It's cheaply made. It's cheap. And it's just blip. It, it nearly killed me. Tried to kill me. Stupid car. Hate it. It's stupid. In fairness, though, it actually does. It, it's quite a nice looking thing when I'm not sliding into everything. So, in the rain, you've got to be careful. And half of you are going to say it's just my driving. And for those of you saying, I don't know really what to say because, well, blip. But you must be wanting my views, otherwise, you won't be watching. So. I'm going to give you my views. It's a bit too loose on the rear. It is very playful, especially for a mid-engine, which makes it hard to catch. So, we came first. That doesn't really mean anything. I did this as a test, you know, to simply just see what's what. And we get some decent money that was spent on this thing, along with some upgrades. If I can let get the upgrades from the stupid design. But anyway, that right there has been your look at the customization and the, well, first impressions, if you will, of the C8 Vet. I personally think it is a dope looking thing. It has got so much potential and I can't wait to see what people and content creators alike do with this thing. But anyway, thank you all so very much for watching. Do not forget the customization of the BMW M8 is coming out soon. So if you want to see that, hit like and subscribe. And I hope to see you all there for that video. But for this video, thank you so very much for watching and have a good day. Peace.